it's raining. This is the gap I have to sneak, squeeze into to get into my car. So it goes outside. I think the traffic's gonna be really bad. Hi. I'm gonna do a little weekly vlog or attempt to see how well I am at how well I am. See how good I am at this. bunch of little tasks and things that I need to do and that usually ends up taking ages so I'm just gonna kind of potter around my studio haha <laughs> get it get it so random story I grew up in the Dandenong Ranges in Victoria which is not Dandenong I grew up in like Belgrave Tacoma that area and Growing up, I feel like all the stores around there always had incense burning. It's very like hippie, it's a hippie kind of place. Like people would be like literal, like walking around in like robes, like wizard robes and stuff. Anyway, kind of like a kooky area. But stores always had incense burning and it used to give me the biggest headaches growing up. I hated it, could not stand the smell of incense because I just like got these crazy headaches. And I was like, why do all the stores have them? Um, and now, since growing up, I love the smell of incense because it reminds me of my childhood and it doesn't give me headaches anymore, so how fun. One of the things on my to-do list this week is to organise this whole mess behind me. It just shits me so bad in any video I make. It, there's just this rank towels in the background. <laughs> They have never been washed. Let me tell you that. Never once been washed. I don't bathe with them, obviously. I just don't know where to put everything. That's my issue. I could get rid of it, but where do I put it? Got this little present from YouTube. Thank you, YouTube, for passing 100,000 subscribers. Yay. Um, it took a few weeks to come. I'm actually on like 180 something now, so. <laughs> what can you do? So yeah, that's gonna go up next to my bachelor's degree. <laughs> nah. Can we just appreciate <laughs> how tragic my outfit is? I've got like a ratty singlet. Um, this cardigan is from Uniqlo. And then this jacket is a waterproof jacket. Um, I don't know why I want a cardigan, because it's going to get clay and stuff in it, hence the jacket. And it's freezing in here, so... Basically, I have $700 in flight credits, and no one knows, like, how to use it. Like, I can't redeem it. It's so fun. Pedro Pascal actually makes me blush. Like, look at this man. That's what I get to watch while I work. So how could I complain about anything ever if this is how I get to spend my Monday? Pieces are polished and ready to go in the kiln. Yum. So that's some clay I just recycled. That will be ready to wedge tomorrow. And then the stuff in there is, I'll do it after. I've got a really sore throat. My, um, my glands are a little bit like swollen. So I think today's kind of a write off for me, to be honest. I bought an iPad. I don't know why. I have been contemplating it for a while, but it was very impulsive. 
and it's purple because that's the only one that I had left. They didn't have the 10th gen, the one that I wanted, and I just said, just whatever you've got, give it to me. I don't even care. And I've been walking around with that clay in my hair. Happy Tuesday, everybody. It's a lovely day in the studio. It's like 2.30, I just got here. I went to the pottery supply store this morning and I'll show you what I got. It's always so fun going there. And I went a little bit crazy. There's just always like new things that I didn't even know I needed. Firstly, I got this paddle. Uh, this is for like making sculptures. Oh, you like whack the clay into place. Got some earthenware gloss, earthenware, clear gloss glaze. So I have to mix that up. I got some fire red, I literally can't talk. Fire crack red under glaze that I'm gonna paint this sculpture here. I'm gonna paint that today, paint it red, bright red. This little thing for slip trailing. I haven't worked much with slip, but I want to try. And then just like a sanding thing, standard. I have a lot to do, so firstly I'm going to wedge all of this clay that I left to recycle yesterday, finish the rest of it off, I'm going to paint that sculpture, I need to make a mug, just like a singular mug, can't tell you what it's for, but it's for something fun. There was something else I had to do, I don't know. <laughs> My camera's about to die. My top is from Thrills. I get asked all the time. It's an amazing like white, really thick cotton singlet. You don't have to wear a bra underneath it. Like it's not see-through, which is amazing. And then Lululemon shorts. And you might think, why would you wear that to a pottery studio where you're gonna get covered in clay? And you know what? The clay washes out, surprisingly. The shorts might be a little bit stained, but yeah. Now I have to wedge all of this clay. It's gonna kill my arms. There's so much. I don't have a wedging table, obviously. I'm really scared to paint this red, but I'm just gonna do it. I really wanted to paint it red, so. Ah! Here goes nothing. morning it's really early and it's a disgusting day outside <laughs> but I've got a really fun day I'm going on my friend's podcast just for girls so I'm just gonna have some breakfast and like get ready for that and then I have a glass and store opening tonight in Melbourne Central so that will be fun Okay, I just got to the girls' podcast studio. I'm so nervous. I'm nervous because I feel like I could so easily say something that I shouldn't be saying on a podcast. And it's not me editing it, so... Oh, well. It's fine. Like, I'm just worried that I'm going to say something really rogue or, like, say something personal that I should not be sharing. Oh, well. Let me close this. Um, does John need it? Oh, okay. On the YouTube? Yeah, I'm on the, I'm sorry, starting I'm, the YouTube brand right. too. Hello! This is so exciting. I've had a Yeah. Yay! This is my first podcast. Say hello. Oh, hello. hello. <laughs> <laughs> Are you vlogging? Oh, hi there. Vlog. Here we have 
dog's outfit of the day. Oh, look at her. Do a spin. Woo! Go, girl. to a Breville coffee event to so try like some new coffee beans. I've got a new subscription which I'm a coffee fiend. I used to be a barista so I'm so excited except it's 8.40 in the morning and I have to walk 20 minutes. It's great for tasting, it allows you to access those flavors a little bit easier. So, turns out I'm not that good at remembering to vlog in public. Uh, I still get like nervous doing it, it's really weird bringing out a big camera or even my phone in public sometimes, so I apologize for that. But, update on my week, it's Thursday. I don't know if I'm going to the studio today. I kind of have a bunch of other like errands and house things. Basically this morning I went to the uh, Breville coffee event. And then I had a coffee with my roommate slash best friend. It's her birthday today. I've got a tradie coming over to replace the blinds in the apartment. I've got someone coming later to pick up my old mattress. So I kind of just have to be home for all of that, which is annoying. But I'm just going to hang, basically. I started watching Vanderpump Rules last night. I've never seen it before, but I started from season one and I'm like hooked already. I stayed up till 1am just watching it and I never stay up that late. So I might just <laughs> hang out and watch Vanderpump Rules, honestly. The other day I bought an iPad and I've barely used it. I've only had it for a couple of days, but yeah, it might have been like a really silly rash decision to buy an iPad. But my reasoning behind it was because I love graphic design and that aspect of my job. And I want to get better at, um, I don't know, I love like collaging and like playing around on Canva and Pinterest. Like I personally think that I have the best Pinterest feed in the world. Like it's just so aesthetic and fashion and art. Love it. But the kind of stuff that I want to do on there, let me show you a little what I've played around with. Like I just want to make cool prints for my house. I've just been playing around with like word, like text and little clippings from Pinterest and I also got this app that you can draw on and I've just been drawing funky stuff like that. I also just got the things in the mail. Let me show you. I got this from Maybelline, New York. It's, um, what are they called? Superstay Vinyl Ink. Got some lippies. And then this other one that I'm so excited for. I found this girl on TikTok. She's an amazing artist. And I bought one of her prints because I just am obsessed. And I really want to start supporting other small-ish artists by buying their stuff. So I just got this print in the mail. I'll show you. So she's actually hand painted all of that. And I've got the books on there to flatten it because it's all, it's been rolled up. I also got my housemate some flowers because it's her birthday and she loves this little handmade vase that I made. This is like probably one of the first things that I ever made and I don't really like it to be fair but she loves it she puts it beside her bed with some flowers in it so I'm gonna put some flowers in there for her I got her this really cute birthday card I'm not the best with my words like on cards but I'll give it a shot what should I write hey bitch happy birthday I just like, I just have a way with words. I can't explain it. They're so pretty. How cute.
happy Friday. In all honesty, I'm having a really off day. Just like, got this head cold that hasn't gone away all week and I feel so foggy and clouded. Like, my brain has just like not been right all week. And I'm just like so overwhelmed and stressed. But I don't know about what exactly. It's just like this overwhelming feeling of anxiety. I have anxiety, so some days it's just like really bad. And I'm just feeling like shit. And then like on top of that, I'm having a bad hair day. Like, what is this? I don't even know. <gasps> uh. But in saying that, I was like, I could, I should just stay home and drink bone broth. And so I've got a really sore throat. And everything but I thought I'll feel even worse if I do that I'm gonna come to my studio and do something and so I feel at least a little bit productive my face is so puffy I haven't had much clay time this week I feel like I've barely even made anything I've been doing a lot of other like errands and this week I've had more events and things on so I haven't been in my studio but some weeks are like that like, I don't know, not having as much hands-on time. It weeks, my weeks differ so much, but I've got these really fun paper lanterns. I got two of them. They are huge and I'm gonna hang them up from these beams so that I've got some nice big white lanterns. So if the only thing I get done today is put those lanterns up, then like that's success. But I don't have a step ladder and I don't have anything to hang them up with. <sighs> so much bigger than I thought they were gonna be. I feel a bit silly because I didn't realize how big it was gonna be. Like, I thought that was going to be too small. Does that look weird? You know what? I said it at the start of the week. I said, someone hold me to this. I'm going to clean up this area this week. And maybe that's what I'll do today. And Because I, I feel like shit. So if I clean up this area, then I'm productive. My to-do list is done. And I won't feel like such a piece of shit. You know what? These are going home with me and they're going in the wash. Done. So they're just going in the bin. And I bought two of them as well. Like, what am I gonna do with this other massive paper fountain lantern? Are you ready to see the final result? 